My weight is really shooting up now, as I assumed it would, since I'm eating a lot more calories than I was before. Always have to remember that the goal, whenever my weight is shooting up, my goal is to continue to progress in the exercises so that I'm doing more work. If I'm not doing that, then I'm just getting fatter. You have to actually get stronger as you're bulking to get bigger. And by stronger, I don't mean I can cheat the weight up more and more in like power lifting, like I'm trying to create the most efficient movement. I'm trying to make the individual muscles stronger, which means I want the, the movement to be as inefficient as possible so the muscles are doing all the work and the form stays consistent. I feel like a broken record saying the same thing every day, but that really is the most important thing. Hitting 160 here for 11 reps. I've been getting it for 10, so 11 is progress. I also do a drop set on the, or a rest pause set on the back off set. So I'll do two, uh, a rest and then two sets afterwards. I hit three plates here, 315, for eight reps on the stiff leg deadlift. I do need to do more the next time. I felt really good with these eight reps. Eight reps right now is exactly what my body can do comfortably, and I need to push it to do more. You'll notice I'm not bouncing off the floor. I'm actually like trying to pause at the bottom and hold that position and stretch my hamstrings before I drive back up. I do single leg leg curls here, uh, 70 pounds for 10 reps, which is two reps more than I was getting last week. So we are st still progressing here. Now I am trying to hold the top here. You can tell that I'm not really. That's just because that's a really hard position to hold. So I am attempting to hold the top position there. It's just that that is where your hamstring is going to be the weakest. I'm actually really happy though with how isolated my hamstring is in this set. I'm not using my upper body momentum to get the weight up. I'm using all hamstring. Putting the squatting shoes on here for the leg press. I do think this probably helped my legs some. Uh, this is the third uh, leg day in a row that I've had no knee pain. So that is all good. And not only is it no, no knee pain, but it's no knee pain with a great quad stimulus. I feel, my quads feel great afterwards. I do only get seven reps here instead of eight like I did last week with the same weight, but I think it's because of the squatting shoes. I got my feet a little lower and I'm getting a little bit more knee bend, and so I'm going to chalk it up to that instead of me getting weaker. Messing around with the Bulgarians here, I wanted to use this. I thought it would be a little bit more comfortable, but I don't think it is. I'm going to probably go back to using a bench next week just because my foot actually slips through the pad here, and then I have to like get it back out. But this is a 90 pound in each hand, 180 total for a set of eight, I believe, which is the same weight as last week. But like I said, I'm playing with the form here. I'm trying to get as much stimulus on the quad as I can while also trying to balance the thing. So that I'm still working on that. And finishing up my leg day with some leg extensions, I get 170 pounds for 12 reps here. Last week I only got 10, so we're increasing this one as well. And you can see here, I am able to hold the top position on this as well as pausing at the bottom so I'm not getting like a bounce out of the bottom. I also, when I do this, I, I find it very important that I get a full contraction, so I am really trying to squeeze the top there. Like the last half an inch of this movement is the most important half an inch. 